guys welcome to boxing block center and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and select all okay so it open your banger a new exclusive video will definitely be notified so it is official uh there are big baby miller versus Oh, uh, Andrews Jr. Oh man, this is a big matchup. Both are set to face each other. Okay, on the other card of Crawford Madrimov, August the third in Los Angeles. Um, at BMO Stadium or BMO Stadium? I don't know. BMO, BMO. This still right here is a a football stadium i mean what americans call soccer jeremy miller this this card right here the real season card is very stacked bro like just look at the fights they have right here crawford madrimov as the headliner the main event common event is as as Isaac cruz against jose valenzuela Team Zoo, Virgil Ortiz, and Deris Jr. against Jeremy Miller, David Morrell against Rod Voger Kalajic. That's like, I think that's a, a Slavic name, definitely. This guy must be Eastern European. Andy Cruz against Antonio Moran. Listen, the fight that intrigued me the most is, of course, Andrew Jr. and Jeremy Miller. And the second fight I'm looking forward to, the, the, the card is stacked. Bro. I don't know much about Andy Cruz though. I have to say that. Um, But I do know of uh, Antonio Moran. Tough fighter, strong um david morrell this guy is another is a few is a is a future basically this guy might end up fighting benavidez one day david morrell um team zoo oh my god team zoo and virgil t this is like this war right here expect this card is this is the best card basically in the u.s pearly since the there's the beginning of boxing in the US I will say that mm, although I wasn't born like in the early 60s or so like that or the 70s so I can't really speak much on on that time but I will say right here America boxing has been has been polarized for a long time politicized you know now Ahimo was the man running the th running things then he allowed his fighters to fight on other networks until big Turk Turkey his excellency Turkey al came on board and basically changed everything and it's changing everything this is the first Riyadh season card um taking place in the US Usually, Riyadh season is a Saudi Arabian thing. Basically, they take place in the kingdom, but they are bringing the fights even to your doorstep. That is, that is, you know, when you have a a a, 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 a man with a with a vision, like His Excellency Turki Al Ashik, and with the way he loves boxing, you cannot you have to be very grateful because i don't know when this would end but i just hope it doesn't so looking close to the andrews jr against dre miller i would say this is a fight this is the the fight between two tenants two aj tenants basically fighting to be the best tenant because AJ remains the landlord and Jr. Joshua made Andrews Jr. basically. 
and the reason after Billy Joshua garnered about 1.6 million followers on Instagram as of today, and the reason has 1.8. Basically, after that win, everything died down. Andrews Jr. has been battling uh, with um, his ex-wife and stuff like that. I think he has a new girlfriend now. Uh, he's, uh, he has an, another baby on the way. I think Andrews Jr. threw, like, basically threw off his, like, threw, like, he, uh, I don't want to judge him because I don't really know what happened. But from Andrews Jr.'s behavior after beating Joshua, how he literally abandoned his trainer, that was there for him throughout you know the up and down and stuff like that it's just very disgusting in my opinion but it's life people change when people get too much money they change to a different person some people can just be humble Jeremy Miller has been battling PEDs you know we know this the pharmacist definitely even though I like Jeremy Miller but Jeremy Miller is good for boxing it's just that he can't stop taking PEDs. However, his last fight against the Dubois, he was clean. He fought clean. Hopefully, he comes in clean for this fight. Because we need to see a clean Jeremy Miller to really determine whether he still got it or he, whether you know he's that guy or not. But he can fight without performance enhancing drugs, you know. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out. I'm very, very happy, by the way. And yes, we all know how much these guys want to fight at the Joshua. They they already talking about it, basically. They've done two interviews now where Andrew is saying that he he if he gets past Jerry Miller, he wants to he wants the Joshua. Or Parker fight. He said Joshua most. Jeremy Miller the same thing. He wants Joshua fight. He said he wants a rematch against Dubois, but he's not getting it. But he wants a Joshua fight. So these are two tenants fighting for the fighting to get the attention of the landlord Anthony Joshua. <laughs> I love him Vietnamese. It's gonna be crazy, man. I mean, this card is stacked. It's stacked. I'm kind of jealous. I'm kind of jealous because I don't live in the US. Um I don't I don't live in the UK either. So I don't think we'll get a car like this because the Netherlands or Germany is not really Germany loves boxing, but Netherlands love um kickboxing is more popular here than boxing. People are more into kickboxing here. And it would have been nice to see a big card here, but not people won't really how accept if you're not a boxing fan maybe if you put up a good fight a good card like that might might happen so Kerala Chick is doing a very good job I mean essentially he's like like the savior of boxing basically I'm really glad about this man I can't lie um August 3rd is gonna be crazy Terrence Buck Crawford we all know that the guy is the pound for pound number one, 40 and 0, with 31 knockouts, going against Madrimov, mm, a very, very strong minded fighter, very strong fighter, you know, but I don't think it beats Crawford. That, that would be like the biggest upset ever. The guy is like, the guy has 10 wins on his resume. I think seven with seven knockouts. So, Barrymore of beating like Ben Crawford will be like will be the biggest upset ever in boxing. But I don't think that happens because Crawford wants the guy is just destined for greatness. You just look at Crawford, his, his demeanor, the way he carries himself is just so unique, bro. It's so unique, you know. The way he look, he look like a fighter. He look like a throwback fighter, you know. And he's not someone that would that would duck anybody, bro. He's someone that would really like, you know, what like. 
you know fight any you will fight anyone basically if of course the phone is right so this card right here this kind of card we have taken like early april this kind of card i don't think any promoter will be able to pull this off in the u.s be not because they don't have the money but because they cannot bet they cannot they have to make money back so before they pull this card on miller for miller and Regina, for example is a main event of his basically it just be a main event of his own that's facts so i'm really jealous of the american boxing fans mm, we need boxing to be big like boxing is already huge it used to be the best combat sport it's still the best i mean the most valued and stuff like that but the ufc has taken over however with the arrival of his excellency turkey electric bro things are gonna change and for good what do you guys make of this right here miller versus and ruiz jr wow man the chameleon miller the pharmacist against regina the chameleon it's gonna be very exciting i'm not a fan of uh, andrew jr anymore i used to be uh ever since he showed his his true character you know dumping everybody that was there for him when he had nothing after beating joshua was just tasteless in my opinion and now having to deal with baby mama dramas and stuff like that man this guy has a listen andrew jr if care is not taken will be one of those guys that would you would like people that i don't know man he'll probably be, be like boss douglas you know but nowadays i think things are a little bit different because there are there are more ways you can uh, invest you know and i believe andrew jr might did probably invest in the way but he's a good fighter no doubt i like all those guys need to be in the division we need the division to be excited because then we'll get the big fights and good matchups and stuff like that and all these guys fighting each other styles makes fire and, and it's like we need more excitement in the division but i think these two guys especially miller miller is very good for for the every division because he talks he talks the talk bro it's just that you know he face he, he can he face drug test basically so he's fed how many times three times so so yeah man i don't know hopefully it's clean for this fight and doesn't fail another drug test that would be very devastating bro because his excellency Tokyo Logic, you know likes miller um is investing in miller basically giving him another chance you know after that the boy fight you have to to not let the last person to believe in you down because Eddie Aaron probably wouldn't have invested his money on miller because he fucked that he money up before against joshua so yeah he's the reason why they should lost to, to lost because Joshua wasn't prepared for Andrew Jr. He didn't know the style of Andrew Jr. He hadn't. Like, there was literally no time to really prepare. Like, Joshua just went in there. He didn't think, okay, I can take care of things, stuff like that. Which he did in a way, halfway after knocking Regina down. Or went in and got caught. Those things that happen. Okay, guys. Like the video, share, subscribe, give it a thumbs below. And God bless you all. Follow us for the channel. Cheers and stay tuned.